morning, everybody. Oh, it's so good to see each of you all again, and I recognize the faces. Thank you for coming. And uh, we're going to adjust the volume as we go along, so don't be afraid to say, raise your hand and say it's too loud or if you need it louder. But uh, ultimately, we're going to make sure that everybody's happy. Is everybody having a good day? Oh, good. I'm having a great day already. I got lots to share with you today. Maybe we could stand for this first song because it's a prayer. It's a song I wrote many years ago with a friend called Praise Him. So if we could stand and we'll just enter into prayer into the song instead of word today. Let's be a voice in, and it's all day. 
horses, the tracks need to come down a bit. The tracks, the sound tracks. We're losing your your words. Okay, so the tracks, I guess, just a little bit down. You can do that, honey bunny. Look to the Lord. Sing to the Lord. Shout to the Lord. Amen. Look to the Lord. Sing to the Lord. Shout to the Lord. Amen. Is that better? All right. We want everybody to have you. Across the street, 
of Jesus shine on. So here's another song that you liked last time I sang called Sing to Me. Oh, I already sang that one. <laughs> this is a new one for you, but not a new one for me. It's a song I wrote the dear God, friend of Kingston, Brian McEwen.
I don't know how he stood it so that I could have some kind of entertainment because I couldn't hear. And I was scared. I had to go to the Lord every day and say, Lord, please, I'm a musician. I sing. I've just retired my job so that I can go out and sing for you, Lord. Why would this happen? And could this be permanent? Because I read on this Google land that it could be permanent when you have an infection in your ear. And I prayed. One day I got up and this song that I sang with my brother years ago, open my eyes, Lord. Open my ears, Lord. Went over and over my head. So I was well enough to go out. I felt awful, but I took the dog for a walk. So I go around the canal here in town and say, open my eyes, Lord. I want to see Jesus, to reach out and touch him, and tell him I love him, and don't be my ears, Lord, help me to listen, to reach out and touch you, and know that I love you. And I went around and around the hell every day. Eventually, my hearing got better. I got the doctor's help I needed. There was drops and antibiotics. Even today, my, my hair is not 100% today. But this is a miracle I'm here to sing. <laughs> because once I got the hearing started to happen, it went into my bronchial. And all I could do was cough. Thursday night, we're practicing. And I said, by faith, I'm going to be here on Sunday. Now, Phil's my only witness. I'm not lying about this or making this up or making it all grand here. We were, we were practicing. And I was so frustrated. And I stopped. And I prayed. And I said, God, I know you have a word for somebody here on Sunday. And you want me to be here at this church at St. Andrews. You've cut, touched my voice. You've cut, touched my body. And I prayed in Jesus' name because the Bible says where two or three are gathered together, he will hear our prayers and answer them. And I just said, Bill, we're praying. <laughs> and he got his head with me and we prayed. The next day I wasn't much better, but I could hardly talk. And I said, I'm faith. I'm going to be okay. We came here Saturday. Last week set up. And my voice was working. And I still had a bit of a cough. My voice was working. I said, Phil, I know by Sunday, I know by tomorrow I'm going to be okay. And even if I don't have 100% hearing, because I perforated my eardrum, so that takes a while to heal. I'm going to sing for you, Lord. And I woke up today, and I can sing. So this is a miracle. This is, this is a miracle. And I know that when Cindy asked me, I knew I was here for somebody. Somebody needed to hear, if not all, that we can call upon Jesus for anything, for our sickness, our health, everything. We can call upon him, because that's what he has promised for us to do. And I'm just sharing that with you today, so that's why I, I had to have the, the tracks up a little louder. I'm so sorry, I know it's a little louder, but I, I have to have the tracks up so I can hear. Thank you for obliging me. And I, I picked out the scripture too. I found this week, and I, I can't go ahead without reading this. It's found in Jeremiah. It's where Jeremiah, and he's, he's writing and he's asking God for understanding, which that's how I felt. It's why, Lord, why would this happen to me? In 32 and 17, it says, All oh Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. There is nothing too hard for you. Nothing is too hard for God. He gave me my voice for today and failed to testify. It's so true. You are the great and powerful God whose name is the Lord of hosts. Let's just pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that I'm here. I'm back on track singing for you. Thank you, God, for everything you've done for these people in this church. You've brought them here this morning. I pray, Lord, you're going to work into their lives and work in this church and grow up, Lord. And
and make us stronger than ever before. In Jesus' name, amen. Now again, it's going to be trial and error where the word too long, try not to be. But we decided to sing a couple songs that you might know, a little bit more country, kind of bluesy. It's kind of what we do.
Pentecostal church have lifted this service up in prayer today. And they lift all the churches up in town from week to week. But this one today is they knew I needed their prayers. Just so you know, you're not alone. Oh, Come to me, come. 
please call me out for help. He always worked for what he had, so proud of it all. But he would worry day and night that he would lose it all. And the feeling of the pressure, his heart grew sick with fear. Oh, 